Hello everyone, Dara coming in to say hello today, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, whatever time you're watching this. Uh, please do like, comment and share this live stream. And today I am talking about letting go of clutter and having resistance showing up around letting go of clutter. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dervla and I live and work from home uh, in person via, via Zoom, Skype, uh, helping female spiritual entrepreneurs to release the fears, the limiting beliefs, the blocks, the crap that are holding them back from creating a life and business that they love. And today I'm talking about decluttering because I'm sure, you know, I'm not the first person that you've heard talking about decluttering and making space, letting go of old stuff, physical stuff in our physical reality uh, in order to make more room for new stuff to come into our reality. And clutter can be a physical representation, physical clutter can be a representation of clutter in our mind. So what we want to do is we want to declutter our mind our bodies, our spirit, and declutter our physical space. Because I'm sure if you've ever decluttered a space, um, you'll see it before, it's kind of messy, and maybe there's a lot of stuff there, and there's no order, there's no, um, no proper order to that space, and you might find it difficult to even find what you're looking for in it, as to opposed to when you actually clear it out and you clean it up and then you look and you actually feel, you'll notice the difference in how your body feels. You feel like you feel more expansive. It's a nicer space to go into. So I decided that I'd come in and just do a little bit of energy clearing around resistance to decluttering because it's showing up for myself. I've been talking about, I have stuff on the floor in my office and it's going in, I'd say to this third week now and I still haven't managed to fully declutter that space and organize those old journals that I want to actually just go through to see if there's valuable information and then burn the rest of them. And there's other stuff on the floor that just needs to go. I have some of it done and there's a bag of rubbish there, but I haven't completed. So there's a resistance coming up in me. And coming up this, we're in December, the last month of the year. So it is a great time to actually start releasing some of the physical declutter. Maybe you're someone who celebrates Christmas and you've your Christmas tree all up already and you're all organized. I haven't, uh, but it's about, you know, tidying up the space and getting, getting ready to have that prep going on. But more importantly, it's really about preparing energetically and opening up the space so that you, the universe uh, knows that we actually have space to bring us what we desire. So if we're writing down goals and have visions and dreams, well, if we don't take time to actually clear space, and I'm talking about even having space to do meditation, to allow us to go into stillness, to do some journaling, well then how can we expect to receive it? So this is, this is like tidying up your house, your, your physical house, your internal house, your internal home, so that you feel more calm and more relaxed in the space that you're living in, in the body that you're living in, and also in the home that you're living in, or in the office that you're living in, because it does make a difference. So what I want, I'd love you to comment below, you know, on a scale of naught to 10, what level of resistance to decluttering is, letting, uh, is showing up in your life? Maybe you're super organized and you're brilliant for you know, committing to decluttering, but there, there always seems to be another drawer, another shelf, another room, another layer of decluttering uh, that seems to be done in, in my experience. So I'm on a mission to keep decluttering as part of a consistent theme in my life moving forward. And it's going to be a consistent theme in my very exciting Money, Mindset, Magic and Miracles VIP program starting in January 2019. So if you're interested in getting ongoing support over 2019, we'll be looking at your money story, we'll be clearing out all the cobwebs, the limiting beliefs, the fears, the lack energy around your money story. We'll be looking at decluttering your physical space. We'll be looking at different aspects of your money story. We're also going to be looking at how you can actually create the life that you love so that you can wake up in the morning and that you're excited about living your life and that you feel at home in your body. You feel connected to your purpose, that you're in alignment with your purpose, your alignment with your life and with your business. So if that sounds like something that you want more information, on all you got to do is private message me we'll have a call one-to-one -one and I'll go through the program we'll have a chat go through the program and see if it's a good fit for you 
Now there are five places available, six in total, one space is already filled. I'm absolutely thrilled and I'm very grateful for that. So I have space open in my sacred container starting in January 2019 for five more female spiritual entrepreneurs who are ready to go deep, who are ready to look at that clutter that you're holding on to physically, look at that emotional clutter, look at that clutter in your inner world, in your mind. We'll be looking at mindset, clearing out the clutter and the old habits and behaviors in your mind because our minds, our subconscious mind holds, has, is 95, 90 to 95%, the experts say, responsible for how we show up, how we live, how we're being in our life. So we want to up-level that, raise your vibration, and really have 2019 as a rocking, powerful uh, year so that you stand in your power and you're more confident, you're more alive, you're more joyful, you feel more successful, and you have more money coming in to your bank account so that you can live and experience what your soul wants you to do. So private message me if that sounds something that you're interested in finding more about. And what I would say to you is, just for now, just check in and see if there's a resistance around decluttering and see what number it is, not to 10, see what it is. Just go with the number that you have. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of tapping. So if you're new to tapping or emotional freedom techniques, um, you can pause this video now and you can go to the uh, video section on my business page, Dervil Clark EFT, and you can go to a playlist this there for introduction to tapping, or you can also find it on my YouTube channel, Dervil Clark. So lots of free stuff there for you to avail of. But I do recommend that if you're serious about transformation, if you're serious about up-leveling your life, um, really one-to-one -one support, in my experience, is essential because... Um, it's about going deep and getting to the root cause and, and, and giving ourselves the space and the stillness and the time and the support to open up to receive more joy, more freedom, more success, more abundance. So, not to 10. Resistance to clutter. What is it? Mine is showing up as a number five. And I want you to notice where are you feeling it in your body? So I'm feeling mine in my sacred chakra, which is about creativity and birthing new ideas. And what I will say to you that if you are having resistance, oftentimes it is the subconscious mind keeping us safe, keeping us secure so that we don't go out of the normal comfort zone that we have and go in and you know step out of those repetitive habits and behaviors that we have because though it's like there are uh, there are neural pathways laid down in our brain we if we're doing the same thing over and over again it takes time it takes it takes a commitment it takes a decision it takes courage to say you know what i've had enough of this clutter or whatever else is showing up in your life i'm deciding i'm committing to doing this but if you are finding that you're having resistance you may find that the resistance may last for weeks if you don't actually um clear some of the the subconscious energy that might be showing up so Without further ado, take full responsibility for your health and well-being and let's do some tapping. I want to keep an eye on the time now. And comment below and let me know how this video supports you. So, where in your body is the resistance? What does it feel like? What does it look like? How heavy is it? And be, be as descriptive as you can. And you can tap along with me, use my words, you'll gain borrowed benefits from doing what I'm doing. And if you have a pen and paper, write the number down, write the feelings down, and we'll measure it at the end of the rounds that I'm going to do. Oh, excuse me. So, ready to go. Even though I have, and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my number five, but yours may be higher, it may be lower, it doesn't matter. I have this number five resistance to decluttering my office, and you can substitute whatever space it is. I accept who I am and how I feel. Even though I'm telling myself for the last few weeks, I'm tidying out this office. I'm going to have it pristine and organized so that it's easy and it's joyful for me to walk into and to work from. But I notice there's resistance coming in. There's resistance in my sacral chakra. Resistance to me letting go of old clutter that's in my energy field, that's in my physical space. I choose to be open to releasing that resistance now. 
so I can start taking even one baby step and clearing up even one corner of my space to start decluttering right here, right now. Even though I have this resistance in my body, it feels heavy, it feels uncomfortable. I don't like this feeling. I don't like decluttering. It feels hard. I like a tidy space, but I don't like having to do the work. So I just leave it there and the mess gets bigger and bigger. And then I get frustrated and pissed off at myself. Why didn't you do that? You've still left it there. What's going on? And then I criticize myself and the cycle continues. I deeply and completely love, honor, and accept all of me. And tapping through the points now. All of this resistance to clutter, declutter, this resistance in my body. Oh, I don't like this feeling. It feels like hard work. Maybe the mess has built up so long now and I find it hard to let go of stuff because there's an emotional attachment to some of that and I don't want to let it go. I want to step into a new paradigm. I want to be organized and focused, but there is a part of my subconscious mind trying to keep me safe, trying to keep me small, trying to keep me in the old patterns of behavior. Or what if I can know that that's just my inner saboteur and I can talk to that part of me and ask her to release and let go resistance to decluttering my space gently and easily at a pace that's perfect for me. Deep breath in, blow it out. And now what I want you to do is just want you to check in to that resistance that you had in your body starting off. Notice has it shifted? Have any ideas or a has come in? You may find maybe old memories come in if you're trying to let go of stuff that has a, an emotional connection to it. Maybe sadness, maybe grief, maybe uh, other emotions have shown up for you. That's okay. It's part of the releasing process. And the more that we release the stuck energy in our bodies, in our energy field, we're opening up the space, we're raising the vibration of our energy field and we're, we're vibrating at a higher level. We're moving from a low vibrational level up into love, into acceptance, into joy, into peace. And there they vibrate at higher levels. So they open up the energy for us to attract more of that goodness into our lives. Okay. So one more round, right? Mine has moved from my sacral chakra, but there's something now on my back. Okay. And I'm getting that it's related to um, observations of patterns when, I'm grow when I was growing up. So this is, this is I just fascinating and interesting. Okay. So maybe there is a pattern. Maybe you've lived in a house that was quite decluttered. Maybe you've lived in a house that was super organized. So maybe you're subconsciously rebelling because it was too pristine and maybe OCD type living. So there can be different aspects. And for me to go deeper, um, I really need to um, chat to you and see if we're a good fit to work to one, one to one in my VIP program or in any of my other of my packages, because um, there will be deeper subconscious issues showing up underneath this. You may find that you go and you start decluttering straight away. Please do let me know because it can happen as quickly as that. Uh, but to maintain it and to keep it as a consistent habit and behavior, I'm really settling this in or em embedding this in as one of my own personal habits and the habits of the women in the group in my Money, Mindset, Magic and Miracles magical program um, starting in January. So message me if that's calling you. You'll know. So one more round. Even though I have this remaining resistance, to moving clutter from my office or my home or my mind. What if I can relax and not be so uptight about the whole process? What if I can have fun, maybe put on some music to motivate me to clear that space and get up my vibe and have a little happy dance before and after I clear my space? I can have fun with this. I choose to allow myself and give myself permission to declutter my space one piece at a time, one day at a time, even for five minutes every day. Imagine what I can accomplish five minutes every day, even in one week. 
what miracles can unfold from even that action. I accept where I am and how I feel. Even though maybe I'm holding on to old ancestral energy, maybe I grew up in a house that wasn't very organized, maybe I observed my mother or my father holding on to clutter, holding on to emotional pain, holding on to physical object, objects and not letting them go. Maybe there's an element of that in my energy field. But what if I can release that energy now and let it go with ease and grace, allowing this energy to lift from my body right now. And I'm just sensing an energy of gray energy lifting from the middle of my back. Um, and I know what it's related to. Uh, well, I know the, the, um, the ancestor it's related to. Okay, so just moving through the points. All of this ancestral pattern of resistance to decluttering. Maybe I didn't learn how to keep my space focused and organized and tidy growing up. Or maybe I'm rebelling against systems and focus and structure because I'm a free spirit. I'm a free spiritual entrepreneur. So maybe I'm resisting rules that are stuck in my mind. Maybe I'm just resisting all of that. But what if I can know that by clearing up my space and becoming more focused and more organized actually supports me more in moving forward in my life and my business because I can find things easier. I save time. I know how to put my hand on something straight away instead of looking through messes of paper, instead of looking through boxes or drawers. And I can choose to feel the expansion, to feel the joy, to feel the open energy that's ready and willing now to bring in something magical, to bring in something amazing, to bring in something high vibe, to support me in ways that I never could imagine. But maybe there's a part of me that's afraid of this change, subconsciously afraid of moving forward and change. And maybe I can look at that and notice What's the downside of all of this change? What's it do? How is it serving me? And give that a voice and release it and let it go. But for now, I choose to declutter even for five minutes today. I deeply and completely am excited and delighted and looking forward to playing with decluttering and not taking it so seriously. Deep breath in, blow it all the way out. <sighs> There's so much more I can do on this. I actually could do a whole series on this and maybe, <laughs> yeah, I actually probably will have that uh, over time. Actually in the, in the group that I'll have, I will be repurposing some of that. So actually I have a feeling that there will be a, a series on decluttering for sale at some point very soon. So check in with your number, notice the resistance, Okay, mine was in my sacral chakra, that is clear. Some showed up in my back, that's clear. Mine it was a five, it feels like a zero now. Um, so just notice, and I intend to, uh, it'll be this evening now before I can get stuck in and do some of that proper decluttering. So my intention is to do some of that to see this evening. Feel free to post your before and after photos if that feels right for you. Let me know how this video supported you and feel free to share it with other female spiritual entrepreneurs. So don't forget, if you want one-to-one -one support uh, through my exciting Money, Mindset, Magic and Miracles program, or I have very, very, very limited places on other shorter packages moving forward, private message me, let's chat, let's see if we're a good fit together and I promise you, you we will have fun. Uh, there's lots of fun exercises I have planned for 2019. 2019 is a yellow year. It's all about confidence, fun, joy, standing and living and working from our power. Very exciting uh, year. And we're in the yellow vibration already in this month of December. So it's a great time to get started, declutter, clear some of your space and notice how you feel afterwards. Notice how you feel before you start. When you look at that room, does it bring your energy down? Notice when you've it done, does your energy feel lighter? I would be very surprised if it didn't. If it brings up stuff, comment below and I can come in and support you. That's it for me. Take care. See you very soon. Bye.